Hello. Okay, so today we are going to do a, another uh, triple decker uh, sandwich pour. And uh, what that entails is the use of a, well, you don't need to use a 16 by 24 inch gallery wrap canvas, but that is what I'm using. I'm gonna fill up these two paints, uh, cups with layered paints and go from there. My colors I am using are Deco Arts Extreme Sheen Sky Blue Topaz, mixed equal parts with Floetrol and paint. I'm also using Golden's Payne's Gray Fluid Acrylic, five ounces of Floetrol to a couple of squirts of the paint until I got the color that I wanted. This color here is um, Folk Arts Treasure Gold, and that is in color Blue Quartz. And I did about four ounces or five ounces of Floetrol to one ounce of the paint, and it's just stunning. It's a beautiful color. And then I have um, Art Minds Metallic Sapphire. I usually make a big mix of that of eight parts Floetrol to one part uh, to 3.2 ounces of the paint. Um, and then lastly, the 24K Gold by Deco Art Extreme Sheen, and of course. My white paint mixed two parts Floetrol to one part paint, and then I added about an ounce and a half of water to it. Uh, I mixed up 16 ounces of Floetrol to eight ounces of paint and then added the um, water on top of that. Uh, so we're gonna get going here and uh, start layering up everything. Let me wrap myself up so I don't get any paint on myself. And we are going to start. I'm gonna do a little bit of the paints gray. And I'm doing it all wrong, but that's okay. So what I'm gonna do now, because I screwed that up, um, <coughs> pardon me. I'm going to put the white on that. I'm gonna do a fairly large layer, so. Okay. So I'm gonna do that. and light sometimes you got to start around the edges before you can cover up the rest of it you don't want any of it going into the colors okay and then we'll do some of the gold that you're just drizzling it there's not a full full layer coverage there at all
doing a little more than three layers with this one, so. And then we're gonna finally top it off with white after that. Okay. And then the next one I'm gonna add a little more white to that area. There we go. And I have more of the metallic sapphire. Just gonna grab that. You guys are shaking there, sorry. So you guys see how it's done. So I'm gonna just uh, stop here and uh, come back to you when the other cups. Okay, so we've got both cups layered. And next I have, um, I'm just gonna leave this here. I have cups underneath supporting my canvas and I'm gonna drop my canvas. I'm letting it just drop. So let's see if we can bring you guys in a little bit so you can see what is going on. Okay, so here we go. I just got a box of my favorite canvases in and I'm so excited. They just arrived. So, all right, let's get going here. We're gonna start right up here. Lightly cross over. All right, that was a really white area. I wanted to add a little to it. So now I'm gonna lift it back up onto the cups because I don't want it going all the way down to the bottom just yet. Spread it out lightly. 
because I do sort of need some of that paint. I'm going to give it a torch. We're going to bring it back. Actually, no, I'm going to bring it this way first. towards me and I'm going to move it down the line. Centered. It's not recentered. There we go. bring you guys in in just a minute all right here we are I love this technique and look at all those lines in there and the cells they're just amazing um, so the, the gold will all have a beautiful glow to it as will some of the other metallics and I'm just I mean, look at this. This area is so awesome. It's lighter than it seems on the camera, of course. And look at all those striations in the paint. Cute polka dots. It looks awesome. All right, guys. I hope you have a great day. I hope you've enjoyed this video. There will be more to come. Bye.